In this video, I'll talk about haptic reproduction by pneumatic control method based on low displacement profile. It is known that the perception of hard and soft sensation is judged by using both cutaneous and kinesthetic sensation. The perceptual mechanism depends on the hardness and softness of the object. Especially, the perception of soft objects is due to the reaction force and contact area change while pushing the objects. To reproduce 3D deformation of physical objects, we believe these are important. To reproduce change of contact area and pressure, and to reproduce hard and soft sensation based on profiles of physical objects. Our purpose is to present a method for reproducing hard and soft sensation based on profiles of physical objects. We use pneumatic pressure and elastic membrane to change both the contact area and the pressure. In this study, we mention about the change of load according to the indentation. The device used for evaluation has a built-in distance sensor and a pressure sensor. The expansion membrane is composed of a sealing film and a surface film. In this study, displacement and load are used as evaluation indices in order to cope with a case where the load does not change uniformly against the pushing displacement. We evaluated our method by using two daily objects. This slide shows a sponge as a specimen with static profile. And this slide shows a remote controller button as a specimen with non-uniform changes in reaction force to displacement. We found that static and non-uniform profiles are well reproduced by our evaluation device as shown in this figure. We examined the feasible range of our evaluation device. In the graph below, broken lines show measurement results of our device with three levels of pressure increment per one millimeter. Solid lines show measurement results of daily objects. The blue area is the feasible range of the evaluation device. We also found that this feasible range was highly affected by the design of fluid actuation and device housing, such as the maximum pressure of the fluid sources, the volume of fluid cavity, and membrane elasticity and so on. In other words, we can adjust the feasible range by changing parameters of the system. Conclusion We fabricated a device using pneumatic pressure and proposed a novel method for controlling the device based on the profiles of physical objects. We evaluated our method by comparing the low displacement characteristics of a sponge and a button. Also, we examined the feasible range of our evaluation device by comparing with daily objects. As a future work, we are planning to automate the control signal generation. Also we are planning to measure and reproduce actual change in the contact area and evaluate the perception by subjective experiment. Thank you for attention.